Hi, it's Natasha with SoulByNat.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. And I specialize in the Gwinnett County, Georgia area. And today we are actually gonna get out in Loganville and go check out the Brushy Fork new subdivision. Hey, so I am here at the Magnolia at Brushy Fork. It's two sides. One is a little lower price than the other. And then also on the lower price side, the lots are a little bit smaller, but still nice. And I'm now I'm at the Hayden. Let me go out a little bit so you can see. This is the model home at the Hayden. And the model home is right by the... Um, sun's my I can't see it okay so there is the um, clubhouse and the pool that um, I saw when we drove in so we're gonna go in and check it out okay so the Hayden is about 2,500 square feet a little over 2,500 square feet base price is 263 so I'm gonna hush so you can enjoy
All right, so that was the tour. Again, this was the Hayden, a little over 2,500 square feet. Base price is 263. Hope you, you have any questions, need more information, thinking about moving to Brushy Fork, uh, thinking about moving to Loganville, go ahead and give me a call. My information will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done so already. And remember to hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I post new videos, which is every Tuesday. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. over there they have the pool let's drive in here oh that's nice all right here's a little parking lot for the clubhouse and they have the pool and they even have it like the little kitty um sprinkler that you know the kitty sprinkler thing what do you call that i'm not really sure but that's a nice size pool um and here our mailboxes. If you notice now in new construction communities, they don't have mailboxes at the front of the neighborhoods anymore. Uh, gosh, this is such a nice view. Look okay. at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Let's drive through this side. to me because I'm like I don't have neighbors in front of me and if you look in this retention pond now you'll see some water in there but that's because we had heavy heavy rain like the retention pond at you know in front of my house we might see water really fill up in there not and not fill up it doesn't fill up but you'll see water standing in there maybe two to three times a year um, when there is heavy heavy rain outside of that it's no issue and I think it's for me it's a plus because I didn't want people in front of me but well, for somebody else they may not want to be in front of a retention pond and then it depends on what that retention pond looks like so yeah this is gonna be big because it goes all the way down here Elementary School. 